Welcome back to the series that combines gameplay skills and rebuilding skills. We low-key exceeded expectations in the previous in this season. I mean, we made the playoffs, went to six games with the Dallas Mavericks, who are probably going to be eventual champions, right? I mean, I don't know who could take down the Mavericks. Thunder Mavericks, Knicks Hawks in the Eastern Conference Finals. It is going to be Dallas. Yo, it's Luka versus Brunson in the finals, man. The script writers went crazy for this one. The Knicks take it. The Knicks 2-0. 3-0 lead for the Knicks. They sweep the Mavericks. Jalen Brunson wins a finals MVP before Luka. Just a ring, matter of fact. All right, man, it's going to be a juicy offseason, bro, because we do have two picks. One of them is going to be top four, potentially. The other one should be in the mid-range area. And I think we have cap room to sign a big name free agent with the team the youth of this team already bro i think next season we can actually contend player retirements chris paul brooke lopez westbrook kevin durant durant retired on 92 overall clay thompson retires i was low-key gonna sign him a lot of big names heading out bro staff retirements mike brown and michael malone wow interesting bro hall of fame kd chris paul and westbrook all make the hall of fame kd was the only one to win a championship Jersey retirements. Westbrook gets his number retired with the Thunder. Chris Paul with the Clippers. Klay Thompson with the Warriors. Blake Griffin with the Clippers. And KD with the Thunder. So the Warriors in retires number. All right, so this is the big moment right here. The draft lottery. As you can see, we have Brooklyn's fourth overall best odds pick. And we could potentially just have a top four pick. Yeah, so I mean, should we do it one by one to build the suspense? I mean, I guess this will be more suspenseful, but I don't want to see our name any number before the fourth spot. The Hawks. Don't worry, I won't make you guys sit through this. I'll probably skip around, but if something happens, you'll hear my reaction to it. 12th overall pick goes to the Pistons. Okay, it's going as normal. 11th overall pick to the Pelicans. Everything going according to plan so far. 10th overall pick goes to the Grizzlies. So the Wizards move up and then the Grizzlies, that pick becomes a Thunder pick because it was a swap with the Clippers. And now the Lakers are number eight. The seventh pick goes to the Kings. Okay, we're in the top six territory, bro. It is an unprotected pick. The Celtics stay at number six. Yo, we have a top five pick officially, which means we would radically, oh my goodness, we're top four. We're top four, man. The Pittsburgh force, that pick. Yo, we're ahead of the force, yo. The third overall pick goes to... Okay, we have a top three pick. I'll take it. We were projected to be like fourth or something. The fourth projected to be like top three. The Wizards have the second overall pick. And the first overall pick goes to the San Antonio Spurs. Via the Chicago pick. I kind of wanted to trade it for it. So here's what the draft is looking like, bro. We got to do some scouting. First, let's take a look at our staff. Is everyone... Okay, Kevin Ollie's here. Got a good assistant. How about our scout? Our scout is still here. He's a pretty good sense of the game. He's good at analytics. We have a domestic scout and a foreign scout. There is a domestic scout with A-plus analytics that I can't offer. We have a team doctor. Okay. Okay, our staff is looking good. Don't want to... Don't want to... Staff is low-key, bro. Not many people focus on staff, but staff is really important. All right, first of all, draft combine. I am using an auto-generated draft class because we're in the year, what, 2026, and the classes don't get really too good from here. So it's better to just look at them auto-generated and, you know, analyze them from there. So the pre-draft workouts, let's see who's projected to go number one. Lester Henry, 6'6", shooting guard. What position do we need? I guess I don't really know. I mean, we're filled out at every position. I mean, a center would be nice. Casey Oakley. He's a defensive anchor, 7'8 wingspan. Let's just take all these people, the pre-draft workouts, see what our scouts think about them, and then we can see their comparisons. All right, so the draft, man, this is huge, man. This could be the turning point for our franchise. Well, the turning point in our franchise right now is just the waiting game. I mean, we got young players getting better. The Spurs take Dante Nash, teaming them up with Wemby. So they take the small forward out of Memphis. Now the Wizards are on the clock. They take Lonnie Ross out of George Washington. And we could potentially get the number one player in this draft class. Lester Henry is 2K big board. Casey Oakley is number one. He's a 75 overall. Hold on. Alexander Brand is an 80 overall. Hold on. We got to see their comparisons. See, this dude's floor is Mo Bamba. Dikemi Mutombo is his ceiling. Lester Henry's ceiling is all NBA. Bruce Bowen. Are there any future Hall of Famers? This dude has a high floor. 
OG and Anobi, I mean, that's your floor. That's solid. Bradley Beal, Dan Marley, CJ McCollum. This dude has Hall of Fame potential, but he's 5'9", Frank McGee. <laughs> Yo, should we take Frank McGee? His floor is literally a bench player, but his ceiling is a Hall of Fame player. This dude has Anthony Davis ceiling. Miles Turner floor? Does that mean you could stretch the floor, buddy? 82 mid-range, 62 three-pointer. I thought it would be higher and 74 block. I don't know, man. This dude's ceiling is Bill Cartwright, but his floor is also Bill Cartwright. I mean, what? So, I mean, prime Bill Cartwright is his ceiling. Washed up Bill Cartwright is his floor? What, what does this mean? This dude's ceiling is the same as his floor. JaVale McGee. You literally just draft JaVale McGee. This is being compared to two of the best shooters in NBA history. Let's see his shooting attributes. 79 with no defense. 97 speed. All right, so there's really no like future Hall of Famer in this class. There's one of them, but he has a low floor too. Kind of want to go Casey Oakley. I know he's a 75 overall, but I mean, he's a 7-1 center being compared to the Kembe. And he has a 69 three-pointer? That's better than the Anthony Davis comparison guy. 79 interior, 90 block, 97 rebound, 60 speed. I know we got Durin, but our point guard situation, wait, he's expired? Okay, we could bring him back on a team option. So we got Cade and Hood Shafino. Should we draft a better backup point guard? I mean, or Hood Shafino our future? Our shooting guard position, we got Ian Jackson, who's the young, and then Dor Dort's a good backup. He's expired, but we might bring him back. You know, matter of fact, we will not bring back Dort. That means 17 mil, it's kind of high, bro. Then we got J Jairus Walker and Gigi Jackson on team options. Jalen Dern is restricted. And Wendell's a free agent. We're going with the center, bro. Because I don't think we're going to bring back Wendell. And we're gonna, we are going to bring back Durin. But a nice backup center would be nice. This dude, Casey Oakley, is the future, bro. Hold on. Let's take a look at his potential. He might, yo, he has good potential. We are taking Casey Oakley with the third overall pick out of Nebraska. That, I feel like that is a steal. The force take AC Tinsley. Okay. Alex, where's Lester Henry going? Yo, he's slipping. Lester Henry, what's good? He went to the Lakers. He's a good defender, though. All right, I'm just waiting to see if any trades are made. All right, we're also on the clock with the 21st overall pick. We could draft a guy who is being compared to the greatest shooters of NBA history. But there's still some potential All-NBA players remaining, bro, according to my scout. Let's go with the shooting guard, Bill Lowry. A in, a in scoring, A in minus in perimeter defense. He's being compared to Joe Dumars. He is only 6'4", though, but... He could literally be our Dort, but without the massive contract. Or we get 6'6", Larry Chase being compared to Eddie Johnson. I don't have his attributes. This dude's mid. This dude's mid all around. I'm going with 6'4", Bill Lowry. I feel like he's a sleeper, bro. Let's see what Rob Mahoney thinks about that. Pleased. He wowed at the combine. He made 35 out of 50 threes. Best of any player. Yo, we got ourselves a stud. Here's the draft summary. So Dante Nash. 6'8 power forward is teaming up with Wemby, okay. I feel like we got the best player though, and he will turn into a beast. Bro, my scout was wrong. He underestimated his block, and he has a 98 block. But he doesn't have the high rebound I thought he had. My scout was wrong on that. Does he still have the high three-pointer? Okay, my scout was right on that. What badges does he have? Challenger and pick dodger? Okay. This dude's already older than Dern though, or he's the same age, I think. Let's take a look at Bill Lowry. Okay, 76 three-pointer. 87 pointer with an 84 steal. Yeah, he could lock it up. He is literally just Dort, but younger. And he has the defensive badges. All right, so rookie signing. Oakley's getting two years, 27 mil? Huh? Is, are they really that, that expensive now? So 13 mil a year, bro, just about? I mean, okay, you better be worth it, bro. All right, so now here we have some decisions to make. We bring back, obviously, we're gonna bring back Holland, Jerez Walker, Gigi Jackson, but the team wants us to decline. Jalen, we're gonna decline Dort. You know that Dort, you've been of good services to us, bro. But that 17 mil could be used in free agency. Hood Shafino, Hood Shafino, bro. Should we bring you back? Backup point guard. I mean, we didn't even draft the point guard, so we might have to bring you back unless we can find one in free agency. Should we? Should we take that chance? You know, I'm bringing back Hood Shafino, bro. Luka Doncic is a free agent. Luka Doncic is a free agent. Wemby obviously went back. Trey Young's a free agent. Oh man. We are giving Dern the qualifying offer due to Mintz too, I suppose. All right, so Dern is restricted. We also have bird rights on Dort and Wendell. I'm not gonna bring them back, but whatever is offered to Dern, I will match it. 
So, yeah, whoever thinks you're getting Durin, you want to overpay him, I'll match whatever you're paying him, bro. So, taking a look. How do we get chat? Luca? Wait, we can make an offer for Luca? I mean, this is just the moratorium, right? I don't think this matters. That doesn't matter, right? There's no way Luca signs with us, right? We don't have cap room for that. Everybody else at the top of the class is restricted, bro. Who's got Trey Young over here? I don't want Trey Young. Yeah, we're renouncing the rights. Wendell, renouncing the rights of you too. Judah, Judah, you're just angry at the world. We might have to release you too, bro. Luca goes to the Pistons. All right, here are the free agents remaining. That took one day for Luca to make his decision to go to the Pistons, bro. All right, listen. The only circumstances I'm not bringing Durin back is if we get Chet home. Like if we sign Chet somehow, then we're not bringing back Durin. Chet, I'll give you a player option. You're a 92 overall. Stretch the floor. You're a beast in 2K. Okay. Chet goes back to the Thunder. Okay. All right, Durin, you didn't hear anything I just said. I want you back, buddy. But I'm not going to make you an offer. I'm gonna wait till someone else makes you an offer. Oh, Luca's back in free agency. I see. This is what it, this is what happens in the moratorium, bro. They don't commit sometimes. Luca's back, but yo, Luca, Luca, hear me out, bro. <laughs> yo, I'm about to pass out. I'm about to pass out, bro. I am about to pass out. Should we even do this, bro? Or is this too OP? Is this too OP, bro? We are about to sign. He's about to sign with the team. He be in the. Bro, should we do this? He's 27. We got Cade Cunningham. So should we trade Cade then? Yo, what are we? Yo, we'll have no center because we can't bring back Durin. Bro, I did not expect this one bit. He literally came back into free agency after the moratorium. Bro, what? Bro, is 2K trolling me? Like, there's no way that just happened. Durin. <laughs> yo, I just. Yo, I just did Durin dirty. I'm sorry. It was between you or Luka Doncic. This dude left the Mavericks to join the Sonics. Bro, we have Luka and Cade Cunningham. Yo, guys, I'm gonna need you to tell me what to do. Like, should I just run a Luka Cade backcourt? Or should I trade Cade for like a nice center, bro? Like, I don't want to do it without your guys' decision, bro, because I'm fine with either one, but I kind of want to I kind of do want to trade Cade for a nice center because we literally only have one, which is the one we drafted. And then Jock Lyondale, which I guess is coming to use now, Jock. Uh, but at this point, I guess we could sign a vet for the minimum. Who wants to? Who wants to? Okay, we could sign. There's some There's some people who want us want a little money. Might be able to sign Gobert. Yo, Wendell. <laughs> Wendell, you coming back, bro? You're not going to the Clippers, bro. Kessler, he's asking for a lot. Can either bring Nurkic? We could bring Nurkic or Gobert. I'm be crazy. I kind of want Gobert. We could bring Gafford, reunite him with Luka. We need a lob threat for Luka, and Gobert is more of a lob threat than Nurkic. All right, so here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to bring Gobert in for one year, and then I'm going to hear what you guys have to say in the comments, and then depending on that, I'm probably going to trade Cade for a superstar center. Bro, I'm sorry. There's no loyalty in this, bro. There's no loyalty, bro. I mean, I just want the best team possible. I did dirt and dirty, I know. I got, I got Luca somehow, bro. I don't know, but it's happening. I know sometimes I say, oh, you're the future. You're the... No, there's no. It's a business. And if I see a better move to make, I have to make it. My goal is to win a championship, bro. Bring the city of Seattle a championship. But first of all, I don't even know if Gobert's going to sign with me. Because I can't offer him what he wants. I can offer him a little bit less of what he wants. I'll bring on a team option. But I'm not going to bring you back next year. And I'll also offer Nurkic just in case. Nurkic does want cheaper money. He does want a longer deal though. I'll give you 7 mil, Nurk. I'll give you 7 mil. Let's see. Go Bear. We have a defensive center paired up with Luka. What are your badges looking like though, bro? All right. Bro, he only has bronze anchor now? What are your attributes, bro? 86, 84 block. Bro, he kind of fell off hard, bro. He's 34 years old. I knew that, but... He could mentor our rookie center bro and then he could turn it to gobert with a jump shot i wonder where duran's gonna go let's see and that's he doesn't have max interest in it. no don't go to the force yo duran 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 don't go to the force my boy don't go to the force he has made his decision where did he go yo i can't believe look at this we literally just signed luke kadonchich the man who cooked us in the previous episode he's 27 still in his prime and we have him for a three or four years look at the amount of money we gave him my goodness <laughs> my goodness luca look at this man's resume he has everything he even has all defensive first team three times he is lacking an nba championship though 
He lost to Brunson in the finals and he fell some type of way. He knows he could win a championship here in Seattle. All right, Duran, where'd you go, buddy? Duran went to the Nets. He signed for 32 mil. Wow, that's a lot. Duran, I appreciated your services. You were my first overall pick in the expansion draft. But now we got this guy. I mean, we have Nurkic too. Okay, Nurkic, you want to join our roster? Okay, never mind. I didn't expect to sign him. You want the minimum? No, you don't. But if so, if Rudy Gobert gets hurt, we really have no center. So we got to sign another one, bro. I mean, if Rudy does get hurt, we got the rookie center, but we need another backup behind him. Who wants to play for the minimum, bro? Who wants to play with Luka Doncic for the minimum? Yvonne Looney? I'll think about it. Now let's bring in Mo Bamba. Oh, Mo Bamba, you want the minimum? Okay, you do. We'll bring you in for one year. One year, Mo. Mo, are you gonna accept? Mo. Okay, Mo. He took his sweet time. Took him a couple days, but we got Mo Bamba now, just in case. How is Dyson Daniel still available, bro? I wish I had cap room to sign him. He has five offers. Where is he gonna go? He's going to the Magic? Final day of free agency. He still has not made up his mind. Like, make up your mind, buddy. These guys are all going unsigned. Yo, what? What? What just happened? What a free agency. But it's not over. We got player progression. This, you're about to see all greens. Except for Gobert. Oh, Gobert's gonna get worse. Oh, Gobert. Forgot about this. Luca, you went down one? Luca. Luca, come on, bro. Doesn't matter. 96 overall. 27 years old. He's not really gonna regress. Ron Holland went up four. Jairus went up two. Gigi went up one. Ian Jackson went up three. Even Hood Shafino went up one. Jock Landale. Okay, so we are lacking a center situation, bro. I still need your guys' opinion in the comments. Should I trade Cade for that center? Or should I ride it out with a Luka and Cade backcourt? Gobert, don't tell me you lost your anchor badge completely. Okay, you still got anchor. Thank you. Bro, bro. How are you out for the season with a right calf cramp? That doesn't make sense. I'll go, you're back? Okay, I, 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 don't get, I think it meant the off season. All right, guys, we're in the 2026, 2027 regular season. Now this, we're going to spend a little bit more time on this season because we can compete. We got Luca, Cade, Ron Holland, Jairus Walker, Gigi Jackson. We got Gobert, Hood Shafino, our two rookies, Mo Bamba. And Luca's feeling energized now, bro. Let's take a look at the power rankings. We are eighth in that one, eighth in that one. I think we're always going to be last here because we're an expansion. You know, the force are last. We're 18th. Bro, this dude, Kevin Ollie, wants to bring Luke off the bench. What? Yo, Kevin Ollie might have to fire you for that one, bro. Do not disrespect him like that. I think Ian Jackson is going to be our sixth man, bro. He also wants to start a rookie. Okay, he want, He really likes youth. Is he ready to start? Um, should I just start him? Should I just start him, bro? Because we are going to play the first game of the season. Guys, our first game of the season against the Golden State Warriors, who Jason Tatum went to. We have to face Steph Curry and Jason Tatum. And they got Marcus Smart and Malik Monk off the bench. But we got Luka Doncic and Kate Cunningham. Guys, I know I usually spin the wheel to see what player I will play as, but dude, I feel like it's criminal to not play as Luka Doncic in this episode. So I'm gonna play as Luka and still do the challenge. Let me know if you guys have a problem with this or you still want me to, I will still use the wheel for future, for the next episode, but I just need to play as Luka, bro. And if you don't know, Luka is my favorite player in the league, bro. Here's some ideas of a Cade Cunningham trade for a center. We could trade Cade for Shingoon. I feel like that's a nice pairing with Luka. He's literally like a baby Jokic, bro. But let me know what center I should go after. Imagine Luka and Jokic, oh man. All right, but we're still gonna spin the wheel of guards challenges. If we do complete it, we could upgrade Luka Doncic, spin the wheel of success. And I know these, these challenges are gonna be a little bit easy. So whatever I land on, I have to double it. I have to double it. I have to get 20 points, 10 assists with Luka Doncic. Let's see if I can do it. And I am doubling it, so to make it harder because I'm playing as Luka. Bro, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell if you're new here, bro. Dude, turn on that bell also so you can notify for future episodes. We're playing as Luka Doncic right now with Cade Cunningham and our rookie center starting. Tatum's going to be on us. And this is a good start for our rookie center because he has to face off against Trace Jackson Davis, who is an easy matchup as Luka misses that putback. I'm on Tatum for this possession. As Pajemski attacks, sees Tatum outside. Luka, lock him up. Three-time All-Defensive First Team. Three-time MVP. Good inside pass. Okay, rookie, gotta look for those. Remember, 20 points, 10 assists for Luka to spin the wheel of success to upgrade a 96 overall man. That is going to be crazy as Tatum takes a step back. Jairus Walker is going to have that on lock. Luka's Hall of Fame dimer is going to hit different, bro. 
as he has curry on him right here. Mismatch. Hey, attack. Hey, foul. Remember, guys, in the comments, you got to let me know what to do. Trade Cade or keep him. Or I could trade Luka for a superstar center. Who do you want the future point guard of this team to be? Y'all yeah, let me know in the comments. Pajemski clamped up by Luka. Let's go, man. Luka decided to take his talents to Seattle, bro. Like, that's crazy. We're just gonna get a double screen right here. Luka Doncic attacking, spinning. All the way. Blocked. Ah, wow. Got blocked. But our rookie with the cleanup. Look at that. Hey. Ron Holland has the duties of guarding Curry. He progressed a lot in the offseason, especially defensively. We got Jairus to guard Tatum. Like, if teams have two superstars, we have the personnel to guard them as Agbaji has to pull up and miss. We got Curry on me again. Double screens for Luka. Oh, he's going to free himself up. Top of the key. Ooh, off the mark. Here's a slow release. That's the only bad thing. Curry steps it back in the corner. Cade. Cade, Cade. Yeah, that's Curry, bro. Curry's isolating Ron Holland. Does he know who he's dealing with? Look at Ron Holland's defense. No hope needed. Ron Holland is locking up Steph Curry right now. The whole shot clock, too. Five seconds, four, three. He got a layup, though. He took him so much dribbling, though. Double screens for Curry. I'm up. Curry attacks over both of us. Tough shot. Jackson Davis with the putback. Cade to Luka. Pump fake. Tatum didn't jump. He's attacking anyway. Luka. No foul. I didn't even get a meter for that. Tatum attacks baseline. Luka's there with the block. We got a block with Luka before we got one with Durin, but he gets his own board and puts it back up. All right, Luka subs out already. Six minutes into the game. Didn't really do much with him. We had a slow start. Beginning of the second, up by one. You got Bagioka, rookie center. No, he's not a rookie center, but he's a young center. On our rookie center. He's doing a good job so far. Malik Monk has three seconds to make a move over Cade with the defense we gave him. Another board. And I'm finding Cade in transition. Attacking baseline. Posting up Malik Monk. I'm Muslim, Cade. Oh, he missed. Is this Curry on me? Don't force me out of bounds. It almost did. Get out. Get out. Get out, Rook. Get out, Rook. Get out, Rook. Learn about spacing. Learn about spacing. I got Steph Curry on me. Luka's going to go to work on him and get an easy layup. He shot that. Let's go, Luka. Luka with the defense. Luka. Pulling up in transition for three. It's only a matter of time before Luka catches fire, bro. Rotation. No way. What? He hit that? He just threw that up. All right, we got an elbow. Luka against Curry. Ron Holland popping out. Luka. Fade away, though. Ah, in and out. Monk attacking Luka. Bro, he went up for a dunk. Couldn't reach it. But it still ended up going in the hoop. Screen for Cade as Luka pops out. Now to the inside. Attacking Curry. Should be light work. I don't know why they got Curry on me. Oh, good steal. Look at Ron Holland's defense, man. That progression for him went crazy. Let's go, bro. We are title contenders. Curry off the screen. Oh, Holland, you got stuck on that screen and left Curry open. Back cut. Back cut on Curry. Hey, thank you for the call, bro. He's hacking me. That's three on Curry. Also, I'm being more of a scorer with Luka right now. I only got one assist. Got to rack up these assists to complete the wheel of success. I low-key kind of forgot about that. Okay, he's setting the screen. What's we doing with it? Okay, it's another open lane. Oh, he blocked the floater. Trace Jackson with a nice block. Pajemski inside. Tough shot over all of us. Six boards. Let me get an assist right here. Let me get an assist right here. Cut to the basket, Rook. Cut to the basket, Rook. Drop off. The rookie gets blocked. They call foul. The screen. I'm attacking. GG inside. Let's go. Man, why... Why are assists tough right now? Assists are looking tough right now, bro. As I'm on Tatum for this possession. He's attacking. Stolen. Pick it up. Luka's down the court. Who's running with me? Try to lob this up. Try to lob this up. GG Jackson. Hey. Oh, you didn't dunk it.
Luca's playmaking Tigo. We're about to go hard, though, bro. It's Tatum's attacking GG Jackson. Good defense, GG. Let's go. Someone run with me. Someone run with me. Or I'm going to step it back. Lob it up again. Ron Holly lays it up. Luca down the court. I see Cade. Oh, Cade about to hit this with the dimer. Back to me, though. Drop off to GG Jackson. Who loses it? We're still meshing together, I guess. As Tatum steps it back through traffic. Good board, Rook. The big boy board. As Ron Holland attacks the middle. Let's not force it. Come here. Rook, you got a mismatch. Go. Go, Rook. Spinning. Drop off. Easy lay for assist number four. Malik Monk attacking. I got corner. Oh, the Rook jumping at the pump fakes. He's going to have to learn to be disciplined. Gigi Jackson with the screen. Tatum trying to keep up. Drop off to Gigi. He went for the steal and missed. Assist number five. We could easily rack up these assists. Tatum back screen. He's going to cut in now. Yep. Oh, I knew it too. But Pajemski was popping out. That's a good play. In Jackson in the game. Double screens for Luka. Who attacks the lane hop step inside position 13 points the points are gonna come easy tatum finds the opening jairus walker loki got cooked there but tatum doing his thing cross oh my goodness what a cross by luca as he attacks the cup we see Cade cunningham corner ball this duo might go crazy bro going under the defense go bear you're not that wash thank you See me, Cade. Return the favor. Ah. Oh, we got him with the pump fake. One dribble. Pull up, Luca. Bang. Cade assist. We return the favor to each other. Tatum finds the opening over Jairus. No. Board for Luca. Jairus in transition. Are they going to respect it? Jairus for three. Off. The ball to Cade. Give me a handoff for Luca. Baseline. Blowing by Tatum. Blocked by Trace Jackson. He's turned into a solid rim protector for the Warriors. Pajemski attacks. I'm showing. Goes all the way on Cade. Misses. We down the court. You're not going to block this one, Trace Jackson. We dunk it. And one ref. Means for Tatum. Trying to get freed up. Agbaji does get freed up. I tried helping him. He's off ball screens. Really hurt us, bro. Luca pops out, pump fake, using the screen, crossing, popping, inside, pump fake. Man, to really leave Gobert mid range. Yo! Gobert, yo, that Luca Hall of Fame Dimer just made Gobert hit a mid range. Nah, this Gobert might be different. Tatum off the screen, pulls up. Double double for Luca, but without the assist, cross on Pajemski. Again, hopping by. Wait, why do you make me take a jump shot from right there? I wanted a little lean in layup. They got five seconds to operate. Tatum with the ball. Contested shot. Hits it. They always hit the contested ones at the end of the shot clock. Cade pull up from full court for another assist. Tied up at halftime. Luca is three points and three assists away from cleaning the challenge, and we have a whole half remaining. Imagine the upgrades we could give Luca. I, I, I can't wait to spin that wheel. Hopefully I didn't jinx it though. Three seconds for Curry to operate. Looks like Holland has him. And yeah, I knew he was gonna make that for some reason. I just knew it. Little screen for Luca right here, top of the key. Freed up has all the time in the world and shanks it. No way, I held that release a long time. No way. Bailout pass to Tatum. That was Loki a dot. What a dot by Pajemski. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't Tatum caught on the screen. I'm attacking. Kind of I see corner. Jairus hit a three. Jairus gets my eighth assist. Tatum attacks the steal. Can we pick it up? How does he get it back of all people? And now Pajemski trying to attack Luka. Back to Tatum. Jairus, you're giving him too much room. Oh, he muffed it. He muffed it. Ron Holland, bring the ball down the court. Give me a screen inside for Luca. It's there. Make the pass. The pass was late and we miss it. Tatum's popping out. We gotta start switching these screens. Never mind. 
Tatum goes to the opposite way. I'm still helping. Bro, these off ball movements are crazy. Luca gets the interception. Try to lob this up. Holland, don't fail. Don't let me down, Holland. Hey, windmill. It was worth it. The defense didn't stand a chance, BA. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Tatum again off the screens. Jairus, did you make it? Yes. And you fouled him and won for Jason Tatum. Jairus, I was complimenting your defense earlier, bro, but he's cooking. He gives it to Ron Holland, to the Rook, to me, for the screen, and for the floater to the cup. Good play right there. I need one more assist. Tatum off the screen again, attacking Jairus. Jairus, he steps it back. We missed that steal. We went for it, though. We went for it, though. Going over. Good contest, Luca. Yo, the Warriors. They got new splash triplets, bro. Brick wall for Luca. Freeze him up. Pump fake. Step through. Side step three pointer for Luca. What a shot. Tatum off. Got Tatum off his feet. I see Tatum coming up off the screen. Jairus. That was a good another foul. You fouled him for three again, bro. We just have no answer for Tatum right now. Same play. Pitch it to Luca. Tatum has his takeover right now. We got Ben Simmons in the game playing center. Wow, he was so shook to take that wide open lane as Tatum jumped and accidentally bumped the ball out of my hand. Should have been a blocking foul, right? Luca pops out, pump fake again. Tatum didn't jump that time. Cut Ben. Ben Simmons inside. Here we go. Ben gets me my triple double, which also completes the challenge. We're gonna spin the wheel of success for Luka Doncic after the game. Stick around. Cut Cade. Cut Cade. Cade cuts on Curry. Let's start scoring, man. It's we're actually down this game. Tatum finds the opening. Oh my goodness, he missed wide open with takeover. That's the shot he misses. Man, I got a Baji on me. Hold on. He's a good defender, but can't handle Luka. We take it all the way. Got him jumping. And we hit him with the layup. Good patience. Tatum off the screen. Fade away. Pull up three. Jason Tatum. We gotta do something about him, bro. As Lucas subs out, we're actually down by six. Midway through the third. Beginning of the fourth, down by seven. In the debut of Luca in Seattle. Here for Ian Jackson. He attacks baseline. Okay, Ian Jackson. I like the aggressiveness. Curry off the screen. Well contested to Holland, bro. But they're not missing. I'm here, Rook. Good screen. I got Curry on me. Attacking the cup with the floater. 28 points. Luka Doncic has to lead the way. Luka misses the steal. Oh, he gave up the layup. Ben Simmons moment. Sorry, Ben. You're on my team, but that was a you moment. It's Ian Jackson. Tough pull up. Curry back up. Curry step back. Falling away behind the backboard. I was about to say, bro. Let me ISO Curry, bro. I mean, I saw Curry, bro. Hey, put the moves on him, Luca. Put the moves on him, Luca. Hey, Luca, all the way. 30 point triple double. Curry, bro. Stop going under on Curry screens. We can't guard the three point line. Ian Jackson, I see you again. Ian, are you going to do a tough pull up again? No. Tough take. And one. Yo, Ian Jackson is aggressive. Back to me. Green's coming. Jairus Walker's also popping out. Should've just went up with it. Pump fake. Got Curry on me. Fake that way. Oh my goodness, we cooked Curry with that floater. Good, three point game. Come here, Rook. Need a good one. There it is, Luca. Pulls up off that good screen, in and out. Luca, you gotta hit these. Someone pick up Curry, please. Oh my goodness, right in front of my face. Oh, right by Curry this time. There we go. Drop off. Jairus, I gave up a layup for your three-pointer. Let's go. Lock in. Curry's isolating Ron Holland. Ron Holland bothering Curry. 
locking him up. I shouldn't have said that. Now he's going to score. With three, two, one. <laughs> oh, he missed. He broke his ankles, but he missed. Ron Holland, you need your get back. Pull up mid range and miss it. I got Curry, bro. Nope, okay. Curry inside, Ron Holland. Affected that shot. Curry on me. Oh, what a cross. Luca to the cup. Hey, hard foul. Oh, we missed one. It's still a three point game as Tatum now checks into the game. Curry comes up off that screen. Good hedge by the big man. Affected that. That's an eight foot wingspan in Curry's face. It doesn't matter. Ron Holland to me. Pump fake. Attacking Tatum. Hey! Yo! And one ref! They all over me. That's crazy. Tatum dribbling through traffic. Tries to attack Jarris. Playing the gaps. No steal. As Pajemski attacks Luka. Good defense. Hand straight up. Tough finish! Luka corner. Holland on the cut. Oh, Holland, you there. Good cut, Holland. Yo, 35, 15, and 15 for Luka in his debut. Greens for Curry. Switch it. Switch it. I got him. I got him. Yep, I stuck Curry. Pull up mid range. In and out. No one's there for the board? I'm back on Curry. Pajemski corner now. Bro, we needed that board. Screen for Holland. Now it's a screen for Luka. Tatum beats me to the spot. It's like he knows the playbook. Cut Holland. Not there. Spacing ruin. Spin off Tatum. Deep in the paint on Tatum. Out muscle him, Luka. Hey. Well, I'm on Curry here. And we get the steal on Curry. Luka. Attack him all the way. Hey, Luka, big body. 39 points. Down by two. Tatum putting the moves on Walker. Tough layup. I don't know why K's not in, and that's a big board by the Rook. And we got team take. Pump fake. In a fall for it. In a fall for it. But we are running a post up. I like this. I like this. Are they doubling? No. Shimmy. Fade away. Step through. Foul. And one almost. Luka with an opportunity to tie the game. First one is good. Is Cade in yet? Yep, Cade. In the game now? Let's run it up, bro. Tie game. Agbaji, no way. Oh, they could have called that a foul. They really could have. I saw that foul. Just pick me up. Go, Rook. Come to the paint, Rook. Not there. Hey, step back. Nothing there. Jarris, you're wide open. Pajemski overreacted. We're up by three. Looking for Luka. Oh, Tatum lost. Luka, wide open mid-range. Takes his sweet time. Good pass, Cade. I see Tatum coming up off that screen, Jarris. Jarris, oh, the steal by Holland before he can make the pass. As Holland takes it all the way. In a game this tight and this late, that level of defense is money. And how about the finish there? The rise up for the slam. That might put this game out of reach. Tatum with nowhere to go. Jairus Walker all over him. Rook, don't allow that. Rook! Oh, Rook! That's a rookie mistake. He's for Luka. Going to the wing. Is Tatum lost? Ooh, he recovered. Give and go. Let's slow it down. Who's coming to set the screen? Big man. Tatum playing a good job. Spin. Ron Holland, you ruined the spacing. Luka has to put something up. I got Curry. Curry coming up off the screen. Hate him. Attacking Holland now. Good defense, kind of. A minute left. We're only up by one. Green's here for Luca. Oh, never mind, I guess. Find me, Cade. Pump fake. Tatum jumping. Drop off to the big man. Drop it off. Rookie makes a big play. We're up by three with 45 seconds left. No quick buckets and no quick, no threes. 
Tatum working for his bucket right now. Jairus Walker all over him. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to throw the ball. Rookie comes up with the steal. Cade, I see you, but I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it down. Cade wants it. Okay. Wait, it's really a Cade ISO over Luka? A Cade ISO over Luka? All right, a stop here should close out this game. We're going to have to switch to off-ball screens. Switch it. We're going to have to switch it. No threes. Tatum finds a three. Misses. Tatum. Wow. Tatum sold. He's shooting like 92% from the line, bro. He's going to hit both. And they have no timeouts. We have a five-point lead. No quick threes. I see Pajemski. Luka's there straight up. And are they going to foul? I don't care. I'm taking this dunk. Luka Doncic caps off a 45-point triple-double performance in his Seattle debut and gets the win. And so the home crowd treated to a win. Luka Doncic in his Seattle debut. 45-point triple-double with 16 boards, 17 assists, 3 steals, a block, sub-50% shooting. Definitely could have been better. But he came up big when we needed him. Cade with only 13. A lot of double digit scores. The rookie in his debut. 7 points, 10 boards, 2 assists, 1 steal. No blocks though. Ben Simmons even hit double digits. That is rare. Tatum had 38. He was cooking. Curry was cooking with 24. But it's time to spin the wheel. Bro, and look at who's the logo of the Wheel of Success. It's Luka Doncic. It's like I foreshadowed this or something, bro. But this is the Wheel of Success for Luka Doncic upgrades. This, dude, this could potentially be insane oh <gasps> yo luca plus 10 defensive attributes that's what he needs so defensively here's luca's attributes i think we're just gonna straight up do plus 10 to his perimeter defense at a 75 make it an 85 he's already a three-time all defensive first team maybe he can win defensive player of the year so now we just made luca a better defender still i need you guys in the comments section to let me know what i should do trade for a superstar big keep the team as it is trade luca make k the six man i don't know bro you guys gotta let me know i'll be reading every single comment and yeah you guys are gonna be a big help be sure to subscribe to me if you don't if you're new here leave a thumbs up click here for the next episode